Did you know that 10 years ago, less than 1% of all new trailers had disc brakes? In 2017, 20% of utilities production was disc brake, and 30% of the trailers that we delivered were equipped with disc brake. In this video, you're going to learn the differences between disc and drum brakes and what makes the disc brake more efficient. This is a short explanation of how drum brakes work. So when the driver needs to slow down, he'll apply pressure to the brake pedal and the tractor, which will supply air to the brake chamber here, which has a push rod that is connected to a slack adjuster. And as that air goes to the chamber, the push rod extends. So the slack adjuster rotates, and this S-cam is connected to it. So as it rotates counterclockwise, the lining or sh and shoes will expand out, which will then put friction to the drum here. And that friction will slow the trailer down. Now, the friction actually creates heat. So as the drum heats up from the friction, it expands, which requires the driver to put more pressure on the brake pedal, more air supply out here to the lining, and the lining then expands out to the drum again to slow the vehicle down. And so that's actually called brake fade. And if you get enough brake fade, it'll actually get to a point where no matter how much pressure you put on the brake pedal and air pressure out here, the trailer won't brake at all. The occupants of the car and the driver of the truck could have sustained life-threatening injuries. This image captures the difference in stopping difference when factoring in drum brake fade. So now we're going to take a look at disc brakes. When a driver wants to slow down or stop, he applies the brakes, which puts air to the chamber, and that engages the calipers, which makes the pads squeeze the rotor, which generates friction, and that slows the trailer down. As heat builds up in the rotor, it expands, and it expands towards the pads, which minimizes brake fade. Another benefit to disc brakes is the quickness it takes to replace them. A few easy steps, in and out, and you're back on the road. In this video, we covered the difference between disc and drum brake. The cost for disc brake has come down 30% in the last past 10 years. Disc brake is more efficient, it lasts longer, and has shorter stopping distance. Disc brake is our future.